Hello everybody. So I was poking around in some of my books and you know Remington was pretty popular, right? I mean they were so popular they could do like uh their own little Remington didn't do that, but typewriter companies, you know, could add their little shift to metro logos and things like that. But you know, the pen companies in advertising a long time ago, like this is Friday, April 28th, 1905, this year. And, you know, they talked a little different. This would be April 30th, even though it says April 3-O-T-H-O. or 3-T-H-O. That's, how they, that's how they typed. Um, this paper claims to be uh, only direct New York news wire in Canton, in, so in Ohio. Only direct New York news. Now, Ilion, New York, was uh, where Remington's home base was, if I'm not mistaken. And going to here, we have uh, the Fountain Pen Company taking a glum view of things after the typewriter came out. Now, um, let me just back here. This is the office of General Electric in 1882. And if we look, there's a bunch of blind writers and typewriters happening. 1882. So this, uh, this points out that the typewriters were in use in places like General Electric, but also that... Um, I wanted to find something else New York here. That was my whole point. It's just not jumping out at me. Uh, Western Electric Company, Remingtons were gathered dust on dealer's shelves. People were distressed about the whole typewriter thing. I get it. It was early. Oh, the 1881 revolution. So for years, that was the purpose maybe of that too. But uh, I hope this is going to make sense by the time I'm done. Now, we lost Christopher Scholes in 1890, right? So 1819 to 1890. Well, if you're the pen company and you're fighting and you're you're not getting any business and you're fighting the typewriter, your only place of advertisement may have been places, well, the pen company, I mean, like Collier's Encyclopedia of Social and Commercial Information. So the encyclopedia and, of course, the dictionary. Well, I happen to have... So in here... They talk, there's no talk about the typewriter at all. It's like alienated out of this thing. And, but they give you pages and pages on penmanship and, and the pen itself. You know, like it's, I'm not zoomed in here. You know, pages and pages on penmanship and learning to write. And like it was like, I don't know, maybe like they had stock in it or something. It's kind of silly. But going to, not as easy as it looks, going to the dictionary of even, uh, this is the American Dictionary of the English Language based on the latest conclusions of the most eminent philologists. Uh, they talk about being uh, the new words which are modern to literature and science and art, and modern. Uh, it, so, this is 1898, okay? Now, the pen company might have been holding on, but this is out of New York as well. So, this is why I'm really confused right now, because we had Remington happening out there, home base, and you got this company that basically denies the existence of the typewriter, um, and yet they call themselves modern and with thousands of new words in common use and such. And this is... This is after 1898. We had already lost Shoals by then. So I'm wondering if the, the pen company didn't pay to keep the word typewriter out and go with the word pen and pen this, pen that, between the cyclopedia and the, and the, uh, and the dictionary. JJK, I'm going to pick this to you. 100-year-old paper. So you got type typeify, type metal, type as a mark, 
but no typewriter. It was just totally alienated out. I don't know. It, it's just, I, I, maybe I'm on something, maybe I'm not. I just thought maybe there was something to it. This here is actually the original Remington press plate for the Remington Portable. That's why I brought the Portable out a lot earlier. It hasn't had a printing off of it, and that's the Remington one right there. It hasn't seen a printing in darn near 100 years, I figure. Figure 1920 till now. I just got this, glued this back together. It was falling apart there. But I thought it would be kind of neat to press out for the first time and figure this to be 1920. This is just, my, my stepmom had those ink uh, rubber stamps and things. And I thought maybe we could press out the first printing of this in a long time. It's not going to be a great printing, of course, but it'll be interesting just for Remington's um, this is what you would have did, well, of course, not with this, but if you had the ink in your roller, uh, I suppose you'd have rolled it on, or if you're a newspaper, um, look at that. This is how this would have looked, regardless of how the ink gets on it. It would have been black, and it would have been looking like this, without the light shining on it. There. See how it's getting to be? Um... I'll try and get some on here, and we'll try and press one out. It'll be the first time this is printing an advertisement, and then maybe we can see what it says. I hope this turns out, because rubber stamp ink is... Oh, it would have had a border around it. Look at that. You can't tell from a metal plate what exactly you're holding until you get some ink on it, and it looks so much better. I wish the light wasn't shining on it. You guys could really see how cool that's looking. I mean, I don't even want to, well, let's see what happens here, because I don't want to take all day in. I just want to hold this up before that, though, so you guys can see. Look at that. That's what you would have had, a dark imprint and on a piece of paper, like the newspaper. So that's kind of what I got here. I'm just, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but got to try something. I sure hope this does. This thing hasn't printed an ad in a hundred years. Let's see what kind of ad we just created. Oh, look at that. Okay, it's a little sloppy, yes, but for you, for everybody. Remington Portable Standard Keyboard. No shifting for figures. This hand something writing machine is the latest addition to the famed Remington family. Especially designed for, I didn't get enough ink there, uh, immaculate personal use, something. It is in a case only for inches. Four, okay, if the case is only four inches. Can be carried anywhere, used everywhere, and is a real necessity to every man, woman, or child. Uh, something, something, writing to do. Like all Remington typewriters, it turns out clean, beautiful work, speedily and effect efficiently. Price. Uh, it gives you the price at the end there. Sixty bucks. Sixty bucks. And that's the port Remington Portable One. Pretty cool stamping plate. All right, everybody. I'm, I'm going to let you go. Have a great day and take good care.